With over 35,000 restaurants in over 120 countries, the Golden Arches are one of the most recognizable logos ever. This is the history of the McDonald's logo. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, talk about all kinds of things with logos, so if that's something you're into, then definitely subscribe. So, McDonald's was originally founded by two brothers, Dick and Mac McDonald. And when I first heard that, I was like, there is no way that this mom named their kid Mac McDonald's. <laughs> but it turns out they're actually short for Richard and Maurice. So they opened the first McDonald's in 1940 and it actually had an array of items. And the logo at that time reflects that. It's actually called McDonald's Famous Barbecue at the time. In 1948, however, they realized that a lot of the items on the menu weren't being ordered and that hamburgers were really their bestseller. So they decided to make a limited menu that only had hamburgers, cheeseburgers, chips, drinks, and pie. This way they could produce a large amount of those one items for very cheap. So the 1948 logo actually reflects that by showing that they have 15 cent hamburgers. In 1953, they decided to rebrand the company as a whole and name it just McDonald's. This is also when they started incorporating golden arches into the actual architecture of the restaurants. And this was the logo of that rebrand. It wouldn't be until 1961 that the Golden Arches were actually incorporated into the logo itself. That year was actually the year that the business was bought by a guy named Ray Kroc, who had actually done some early franchising with them. He asked the then president, Fred Turner, to design a new logo for the company. At first, Turner attempted to actually make the logo himself, but he realized later that he would have to get someone else to make it, so he turned to an engineer named Jim Schneider. He designed this new logo with the arches in it, and the arches actually had this line through the middle that represented the roof of the restaurants at the time. In 1968, they simplified it once more and took out that line, making the golden M arches that we know today. And though it has gone a couple iterations of this from that year, it's still pretty much the same logo right now. I think this simplified arch look really has stood the test of time because you know exactly what that logo means when you see it on the side of the road, on a highway, you know that means there's a McDonald's right there. I also don't think this was really their intention, but the colors of the arches actually look very similar to french fries, which makes me wanna eat McDonald's french fries. I think the logo and the power that it has had on this company's success is really undeniable. I appreciate it for how iconic it is, but there's also something about that 1961 Arch logo that has a special place in my heart. I just love that one so much. Which year is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.